remind you that in case you missed it, this is actually part two of the video. So if you didn't see part one, I would recommend going to the link in the description of this video and checking out part one. But if you did see part one, then we'll continue on from where we left off. And I'll show you how I decided to organize all the folders and with the different names and all the different places. Okay, so now I've basically come up with the structure for this folder and I just googled this uh, or I googled the most common file extensions or something like that and I got this article which just lists a bunch of different file types and it's pretty good because it's already like organized them uh, somewhat at least. So uh, that's actually really good. Yeah, I think I've <laughs> I have a bit of work to do to actually uh, keep track of all the different file types but this is the system that I came up with so uh, these are the first folders that we have media other programming and text if we go into media we have audio images video uh, they don't have anything within them so within these folders is where we're gonna have the year months and all that stuff and then I came up with programming because a lot of the files that I'm going to use are probably going to be related to programming. So we came up with this one, which is for the different languages, essentially the most common languages that I use. So we have C and C++, uh, we have Dart, we have database. I think a lot of these uh, folders are probably going to be empty for a long, long time because uh, a lot of this stuff I don't really use that much. Okay. And then we have text files and this is going to be Microsoft and that's going to be related to Excel, Word. And then we just have text files, which is just going to be text files essentially. So basically you need to go through all of those different file types here. And then what we need to do is either create if else statements or cases or something. Um, maybe we can create a dictionary. Okay, let me just think about this and then I'll get back to you and kind of explain how I solved it. All right, so now I think the way to solve this problem is to create a dictionary with all the different extensions and the extensions mapping to the folder where, where I want to put, put them. I mean, this is going to be a big project. I didn't think this was going to be that big, but it's it's turning out to be, I thought it was going to be like a two hour thing, but I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. Um, so basically we'll check the different, what the extension is. Based on the extension, we'll get the destination where we want to put the file. And then we'll check within that folder whether that file already exists. Uh, so right now we have uh, this is the cal folder. So this is the folder that we're tracking or that we're putting things in. And if it's a text file, then it will check whether that folder is empty or has anything in it. So what we can do is we can do this clear and then we'll run it. Okay. So now we can create a new text file. So trello.txt and then that gets added into our text files folder. So it gets added where it should be. And basically this should then happen for all the different file types that we have. Um, and they should get added into the right subdirectory. But then also within this folder, we, we should have uh, another folder that says something like uh, 2019. And then within that folder, we have the months and all that stuff. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that it adds a new folder if it's a new year and then goes into that folder and then adds a new month if it's a new month uh, and then adds the file into that folder. So uh, that's going to be the next step. Uh, but after that, we are pretty close to where we want to be. And also, I'm just going to add uh, the extensions for all the different file types. This is just audio. So we have text left. We have, we have tons of things left. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go, go ahead and do that right now. All right. So now I've 
I've finished uh, this list or this dictionary with all the different file types. And as you can see, there's quite a big list of file types. But this should cover pretty much all of them. Um, and now we just need to add something so that uh, the file types that don't fit any of these ones still get added to a folder. Yeah, so that's, that's what we need to do. Okay, so now I think it should work. It seems like it works right now. So uh, if we just put something random onto the desktop, like this one, we don't have an extension for After Effects. So what should happen then? Oh, wait, <laughs> I need to run it first. So if we run it and then go with this one and put it onto the desktop, it removes it. And since we don't have an extension for After Effects projects, what it does is it puts it into other and here it is. Now, if we get a PNG and put it on here, it puts it into media, images, and here it is. And let's take this one and put that here too. So that was a Python file. It puts that into programming and Python. Yeah. Okay, so that actually works now. It does sort it in the way that we want. Now, the next thing is going to be to add the dates. So we want to create automatically create the folders uh, within these folders of the year and then the month. So that's going to be the next step. Alright, so now it works. It takes the files and puts them into and like checks the extension basically and then goes into uh, the folder corresponding to that extension. And then it checks whether there's already a folder called the year that it is right now, so 2019. And if it isn't, then it creates that folder. And then within that folder, it checks whether there's a month called nine, which is September, so right now. And if it isn't, then it creates one. And if it is, then it goes into that one and then it puts the file into that folder. So what I've done is I've basically just taken a bunch of files and cluttered down my desk completely uh, so that we can actually test this properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the script and then I'm going to move one of the files. So essentially modifying the desktop folder and that should then trigger it to move all of these files into the desk or into the folder called cal that you can see right here i think this is going to be super satisfying so uh we're gonna run it we're gonna hope that it works uh all right let's run it and let's move something All right, the desktop is completely clean. I mean, look, if that wasn't satisfying for you, then I don't know what is. Let's go in here. So basically there was a lot of images. Most of it was images. So we're gonna go into images and we're gonna see. So it created a folder called 2019. It created a folder for the month. And then it added all of the images into that folder. I mean, this, oh, this is so good. And there was also some video, I think. Yep. Yeah, so fix that too. Um, I think I had some random text files as well. Let's go in here. Yep, so it did it. Perfect. So uh, this now works. The next thing is gonna be to make this run in the background constantly. So, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go downstairs. So I'm gonna take all of this equipment apart and bring it downstairs and then we're gonna finish it downstairs. But yeah, this is really cool. All right, so I guess, uh, I guess this will be the setup now. 
So let's finish this off and make sure that this program actually runs in the background uh, so that we don't have to worry about turning it on and turning it off and all that stuff. All right, so I'm not that familiar with how to make this work. So I'm just going to Google it and we're going to try to find out uh, the best way to do it. I know we're probably going to have to add it to the shell script, uh, but I'm not sure exactly where to add it and how to how to do that. So uh, I'm just going to Google it and uh, then I'll get back to you and kind of explain how it was done. All right. So this, this is how you do it on Mac. Uh, so the way that you do it is you go to Launchpad and then you have this other folder. Then you have something called Automator. And what you do then is you open that. And once you get in here, it'll ask you what you, what you wanna do. You press Application. And then on the left-hand side here, you'll have Library. And if you go down to utilities, you can see in this list here, here we go, run shell script. And then you drag that out into here. And then you basically type in the commands that you would need to be able to run your script. So first you need to go into the right directory. So that is uh, users, uh, cal, uh, blah, blah, until you get to the right directory. And then after that, you need to run your script. So whatever your script is. So Python, my python.py. And that is essentially all that you need to do. And then after you've done this, you can run it and then you can test it, see how if it works. And then you go up here and you press save. And once you press save, you can name it whatever you want. And you can add it somewhere I added it to documents and then once you've saved it you need to go to system preferences and then you press users and groups and then there's something called login items and then you basically press plus and then you can add it so, you, so what I did is I added desk cleaner here uh, so it's already been added and that means that as soon as you run your computer this thing will run so right now I'm not running anything, but if we go into documents and add person.py to the desktop, it gets removed straight away. And then oh, if we go into my folder, we can look into programming, Python 2019, 09, and person.py. So that gets added into the right place at the right time, which is really cool. So now it actually works. We've uh, managed to make something that will essentially clean our desktop for us. We don't have to worry about it. We can just put things onto our desktop and it'll put them into the right folders and directories uh, by itself, which I think is really cool. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the outcome of this because trying to keep your desktop clean is usually quite difficult, at least for me, because oftentimes I work on things and I just put them on the desktop and then just leave them there, forget that I added them. And then it just keeps piling up. I just add more and more things. But now essentially this is completely clean. Of course you can go way more into depth and like get super OCD about all the different folders, which I think would be really interesting just to see kind of what uh, different systems you can come up with. But I think this, for now, this kind of works uh, well enough for me. Okay, so that's it, we're done. All right, so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I have to say that this is probably my favorite build that I've done so far. It just feels like it's super useful. So I hope that it gave you some new ideas on things to try or it gave you some inspiration to start building something. And also I have to say that I will be starting to stream again starting on Monday on Twitch at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday I'll be streaming. And also I will be uploading Monday stream to YouTube on Tuesdays. So on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. on YouTube, you can also watch the Monday streams. So this series is gonna be called Building an App from Scratch. And in this series, we're gonna go through everything literally from an idea to a finished app, app design, front end, back end, REST APIs, it's going to be really exciting and we're going to build the front end using Flutter 
and then the back end we're going to build in Python. So I really hope you join me for that this Monday at 2 p.m. on Twitch, or you can always catch it on Tuesday when I upload it to YouTube. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope I'll see you in the next one.